I'm Technician Jay Casillas with the Denver Police Media Relations Unit. And on behalf of Denver Police Chief Ron Thomas, I welcome each of you to this promotion ceremony. Today, 17 members of the department are being promoted to the ranks of Division Chief, Commander, Lieutenant, and Sergeant. These 17 officers seated here today have devoted a tremendous amount of time and effort and energy to get to this very moment and are now being recognized for their skills and accomplishments. And so far in the Denver Police careers, they have already served the Denver community for a combined 267 years. And we look forward to seeing them continue building their legacies and their, in their new leadership roles. At this time, will you please stand if you are able for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain Stephen Redd. Good morning. As we begin today, I invite you to join me in a word of prayer as we start. Let's pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, we begin this day with gratitude. We acknowledge that every day that we live is a gift from you. And we thank you for the everyday blessings that we can easily take for granted. Our friends, our family, a beautiful day in a beautiful city with this fresh snowfall. The privilege that we have to live in this great city, state, and country, and for so much more. We are especially thankful for this day because it is a special day, especially for the men and women we are here to honor. And I pray for each and every one of them. I pray that you would give them a sense of gratitude today. Gratitude to all of those who helped them to this place. Parents, siblings, teachers, mentors, coaches, friends, spouses, children, colleagues, and so, so many others. None of us are self-made. God, may you also give them today a sense of confidence that their training and experience have prepared them for this day and that they have been chosen for this new level of responsibility, not only by their superiors in the department, but also, ultimately, by you, for all power and authority comes from you. And lastly, Lord, would you give them a sense of humility? May they remember that all power and authority is given and comes with responsibility to steward and to use, not only for their own benefit, but for the good of those whom they lead and those whom they are sworn to protect and to serve. May you bless and protect all of them in their new roles and responsibilities. May they serve with honor, diligence, and faithfulness for your honor and your glory and for the common good. We commit them to you and your care and, your, and we pray all these things in your holy name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain Wren. Now the Department of Safety's Chief of Staff, Jeff Holliday, will now share his thoughts on today's promotions. Good morning and thank you for inviting me today. I'm, I'm honored to be here on behalf of Director Saldate, who was an, unable to be here in person, uh, but wanted me uh, to pass on his congratulations to you 
on the special occasion of your promotion. I want to commend you for your dedication to keeping our community safe. I recognize it hasn't been an easy time to work in law enforcement of late. And so it is inspiring to me to see you continue to answer the call as leaders within the Denver Police Department. Without question, we face immense challenges in public safety, challenges that require a thoughtful, concerted effort by committed and compassionate leaders like each of you to continue to build trust with the community, make meaningful change, and support our most important resource, the officers out there day and night preventing crime, increasing the public trust, and honor, honoring the responsibilities granted to them by those they serve. I have every confidence that you will do just that in your new role as leaders of the Denver Police Department. Our team at the Department of Safety looks forward to working with each of you in your new capacities to serve Denver communities and strengthen the support and care we offer our officers. Please know that we are always here as a resource and to support you. Congratulations again on your promotions. They're well deserved and I'm proud to serve alongside of you uh, as we work uh, to serve the Denver community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holliday. And now Chief Thomas would like to address his, his, uh, and share his words of encouragement with the leaders being promoted today. Good morning. I'm excited and honored to be here today as we celebrate the promotions of members of our DPD team. I want to start by thanking the families and friends of each individual being promoted today for the support you've provided them as they prepare for this moment while continuing to do the difficult jobs they were already assigned. I recognize the sacrifices that were made to ensure their success through the process. I also want to thank each of the promotees for their diligence and commitment to the promotional process. I know it was a very challenging exercise, but I'm proud of the fact that you all excelled and thus have earned your promotion today. You know, Friday was a very exciting uh, day for me as we, last Friday, uh, as we sw sworn 58 new officers. But today is a different kind of excitement. As a team, we've developed plans to enhance safety and build trust in our communities, and I'm excited to, each of, to have each of you help us as we put those plans into action. Now, if I can offer some advice for each rank being promoted today, it's this. For the sergeants, support your officers as, they have support, as, as you have been supported and help them to make sound decisions that will support our mission and understand that in your role as first level supervisors with direct contact to our frontline staff, you have the greatest impact on our department and our ability to, to meet our goals. For the lieutenants, continue to lead in your expanded roles Make sure your teams are well aware of the direction our department is heading and that their actions are consistent with our core values of honor, trust, and partnerships. And for the commanders, you were chosen from a very competitive pool and I have every confidence that you will succeed. Maintain your commitment to innovation and continue to encourage your teams to strive for, const for constant learning. And lastly, for all the promotees, never forget why you chose to serve and always remember both who you are and who you represent. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Thomas. Now, with the assistance of Mr. Holliday and Chief Thomas, we will begin our badge presentations. Division Chief Rick Kyle. Division Chief Kyle began serving with the Denver Police Department on November 1st, 1996. His previous DPD assignments include District 4 Patrol, District 4 Corporal, District 6 Sergeant, District 2 Lieutenant, Conduct Review Lieutenant, Academy Lieutenant, Commander of Community Relations, Commander of the Training Division, and District 3 Commander. He has earned a Distinguished Service Cross, two Star Awards, seven official commendations, and six commendatory letters. His new assignment is the Division Chief of Administration. And joining him on stage was wife is Christy, daughter Kaylin, and son Blake. And pinning on his badge was his daughter Kaylin and son Blake. Commander Carlos Aragon. <laughs> Com 
Commander Aragon began serving with the Denver Police on March 16, 2000. His previous DPD assignments include District 3, District 1, District 4, and the Gang Bureau. His new assignment is District 3 Commander. Joining him on stage is his dad, William Challens, mom, Christine Challens, wife, Tui Aragon, and his kids, Tanner, Caden, his mother and father-in-law, Lone and Liam Nguyen, and sister, Gina Martinez. Pinning on his badge is his dad, William Challens. Commander Jake Herrera. <laughs> Commander Herrera began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 29, 2007. He has earned a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from the University of Wisconsin and a Master's of Criminology from Regis University. Commander Herrera's previous DPD assignments include District 4, District 1, Internal Affairs, Conduct View, and the Chief's Office. He has earned six official commendations. His new assignment is Commander of the Operational Innovation Bureau. Joining him on stage is his wife, Shakira, sons Christian and Cadence, and mother, Jan Herrera. Pinning on his badge is his wife, Shakira, and sons, Christian and Cadence. Lieutenant Joseph A. Engelbert. <laughs> Lieutenant Engelbert began serving with the Denver Police Department on August 13, 2001. He has earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Organizational Leadership. Lieutenant Engelbert's previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol, District 1 Neighborhood Officer, District 4 Investigations, Major Crimes Detective, District 1 Investigations, District 1 Narcotics Detective, District 4 Patrol Sergeant, District 1 Investigation Sergeant, Homicide Sergeant, Robbery Unit Sergeant, and Rocky Mountain Safe Streets Task Force Sergeant. He has earned the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, Life Saving Award, Citizens Appreciate Police Award, two Star Awards, three Chiefs Unit Citation Awards, 15 commendations, and 50 letters of commendation. His current assignment is District 2 Lieutenant, and joining him on stage are his wife, Kaylee, son Samuel, and daughter Leah. And pinning on his badge was Kaylee, Samuel, and Leah. Lieutenant Cliff Barnes. Lieutenant Barnes began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 1, 2007. He has earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics and Computer Science from the Colorado School of Mines. Lieutenant Barnes' previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol and the Information Management Unit. His new assignment will be the Information Management Unit. Joining him on stage are his wife, Mae Jean, daughter Lana, daughter Vita, father Bill Barnes, and mother Barbara Barnes. Pinning on his new badge is Bill Barnes. Lieutenant Dan Dunn. <laughs> Lieutenant Dunn began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 1998. He has earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice from the University of Nebraska at Omaha. Lieutenant Dunn's previous DPD assignments include District 2 Patrol, DUI Unit, Traffic Operations Highway Unit, District 5 Patrol Sergeant, and District 5 Special Project Sergeant. He has earned the Medal of Valor, the Life Saving Award, Police Merit Award, Community Service Award, and two official commendations. His new assignment will be District 5 Lieutenant. Joining him on stage are his wife Jennifer, daughters Emily and Olivia, and parents Dan and Donna Dunn. Pinning on his new badge is his wife Jennifer. Lieutenant Ryan Koningsfeld. <laughs> Lieutenant Koningsfeld began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 2004. He has earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology from the University of Northern Colorado. His previous DPD assignments include District 6 Training Officer, District 1 Corporal, District 5 Patrol Sergeant, District 3 Patrol Sergeant, District 3 Training Coordinator. He has earned the Star Award and multiple official commendations. His new assignment will be District 6 Lieutenant. 
Joining him on stage are his parents, Jean and Cindy Koenigsville. Pinning on his new badge is his mother, Cindy. Sergeant Kennyberg de Araujo. Sergeant Dad Aljo began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 22, 2015. He has earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology and Social Sciences with concentrations in Sociology and Communications from the University of Wyoming. Sergeant Dad Aljo's previous DPD assignments include District 1, Metro SWAT, and District 4. His new assignment will be District 6. Joining him on stage is his wife, Holly, and his kids and his family. <laughs> Pinning on his new badge is his wife, Holly. Sergeant Jessica E. Sanchez. Sergeant Sanchez began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 2007. Her previous DP assignments include District 2 Patrol, District 4 Patrol, and Detective. Her new assignment will be District 5 Sergeant. Joining her on stage is her husband, Jerry J. Sanchez. Pinning on her new badge is her husband. Sergeant Michael Stoney. <laughs> Sergeant Stoney began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 13, 2008. Sergeant Stoney's previous DPD assignments include District 3 Patrol. He has earned the city's Citizens Appreciate Police Award and the Life Saving Award. His new assignment will be District 5. Joining him on stage are his parents, Steve and Sherry Stoney. Pinning on his new badge is his father, Steve Stoney. Christopher L. Baird. Sergeant Baird began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 30, 2014. He has earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communication Arts from the Johnson C. Smith University. Sergeant Baird's previous DPD assignments include District 5 Patrol, District 5 Impact Team, and District 3 Corporal. He has earned the Medal of Valor. His new assignment will be District 2. Joining him on stage are his wife, Adriana, and children Langston, Ophelia, and Solomon. Pinning on his new badge is Langston and Ophelia. Sergeant Brian J. Hastings. <laughs> Sergeant Hastings began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 23, 2014. He holds a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in Marketing and Management from Denver University a master's degree in emergency planning and response, and a second master's degree in organizational leadership. Sergeant Hastings' previous DPD assignments include District 3, the gang unit, and special operations response team. He has earned a Distinguished Service Cross, a Life Saving Award, and a Star Award. His new assignment will be District 2. Joining him on stage are his wife, Scarlett, and Scarlett Hastings, and daughters, Scarlett and Lucy. Pinning on his new badge is his daughter, Scarlett. Sergeant David A. Washichek. <laughs> Sergeant Washichek began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 1, 2004. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering from the University of Colorado. Sergeant Washichek's previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol and Traffic Investigations Unit Detective. His new assignment will be District 3. Joining him on stage are his family, and pinning on his badge is his wife, Lori Washichek. Sergeant David Ryan. <laughs> Sergeant Ryan began serving with the Denver Police Department on June 1, 2004. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Management from the Colorado State University. Sergeant Ryan's previous DPD assignments include District 2 Patrol and Traffic Investigations Unit Detective. He has earned the Medal of Honor, a Life Saving Award, eight official commendations, 
three commendatory letters, and District 2 Top Cop. His new assignment will be District 5. Joining him on stage are his wife Jennifer and children Ellie and Emery. Pinning on his new badge is his wife Jennifer. Sergeant Jason Mejia. Sergeant Mejia began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 13, 2008. Sergeant Mejia's previous DPD assignments include District 4, DIA, District 2, and District 6. He has earned the Citizens Appreciate Police Award. His new assignment will be District 3. Joining him on stage are his father, Ray Mejia, and son, Justin Mejia, and other family. Pinning on his new badge is his father, Ray Mejia. Sergeant Shanna Michael. <laughs> Sergeant Michael began serving with the Denver Police Department on January 6, 2003. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Community Service, Criminal Justice, and Social Work from California State University. And she holds a Master's degree in Social Work from the University of Denver. Sergeant Michael's previous DPD assignments include District 6 Patrol, District 6 SCAT Team, Marijuana Unit Detective, Child Exploitation and Human Trafficking Task Force Detective. Her new assignment will be District 6. Joining her on stage is her mother, Darlene, and pinning on her badge is Darlene. And we have one more that's not able to be here, Sergeant Adam Von Valkenberg. He was unable to attend or be present for the ceremony, but he's also being promoted to the rank of sergeant today. His new assignment will be District 3. Please join me in congratulating these 17 deserving officers. The Denver Police Department is only as effective as the public and private partnerships that are fostered within the community. Now, Division Chief Montoya would like to recognize someone who has been a valued partner for the past several years. Well, good morning. Now, what a wonderful day this is. Um, I love these celebrations. Congratulations to all of you. I'd like to ask Chief uh, Mike Eaton to come up to the stage, please. So from the day I walked into this uh, department when I started, uh, I quickly realized how important the Denver Public Schools are to this community. Um, most of the people on this stage are actually graduates of DPS and there's those relationships and protecting our young people to have a, a safe environment for learning is, is of ultimate importance. Um, when I came on, we would get calls to schools, you'd maneuver your way through it the best you could. Uh, Eleven years ago, Mike Eaton took the post of chief of uh, Denver Public Schools, and things quickly started to change. He saw the importance of building partnerships. Mike not only built out uh, a, a supreme uh, team, he built a partnership with Denver Police. And uh, as we know, over the past two to three years, the, there has been some obstacles in that relationship. However, Mike has helped us to retain um, the, the partnership we need to make sure that these, these schools are safe and there is a good learning environment for our students. Mike is, uh, is leaving us. He got a job as uh, the Chief Operations Officer for the San Antonio School District. We're going to miss him, um, so we wanted to give him a little uh, token of appreciation on behalf of the entire police department. We're going to be presenting him with the honorary captain's badge. The inscription states, in appreciation for your partnership, the partnership you fostered, you will always be part of the Denver police team. Thank you, Mike. Please stand, if you're able, for the benediction. <clears throat> Good 
As we close, let's pray together. <clears throat> God, thank you for this time that <clears throat> we have spent here together today, and thank you for these men and the women and the service that they provide to our community. As we go from this place, we go changed by the reminder that we've all been called to serve in different functions in different capacities. May we do so with grace and with faithfulness uh, and service to the common good. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Renan. Please be seated. In closing, achieving promotion within the Denver Police Department is an exceptional accomplishment. And these 17 officers have demonstrated through a very rigorous, demanding, and challenging promotional process that they have the ability to lead and guide others and to further the mission of the Denver Police Department. Again, congratulations. Thank you.